Welcome to our channel, Nomakaya K Muna Hang. We love you, mommy. <laughs> My birthday shoes. Oh, nice. Thank you. Hello, Bantase, and welcome back to my channel. As I was reflecting how I want my 2024 to look like, I just got thinking that I'm ready to reclaim my vitality and unleash my inner strength. I believe it's time to prioritize myself and embark on a journey to optimal health. I'm committing to regular exercises and I believe that when you exercise, you're not only investing in your physical well-being, but also setting an example for your loved ones. Picture yourself running around with your kids, laughing and playing without hesitation. Imagine the joy of feeling confident and energized in your own skin, letting go of any lingering thoughts or insecurities. It's time to shed the weight, both physically and mentally and embrace a lifestyle that revolves around self-care and empowerment. So, I'm lacing up my sneakers, taking the first steps towards a healthier, happier me, and remember, I deserve to feel amazing inside out. I mean, no, you said you, you said it two times, so that means you... So some of you always ask me what type of food do they have in the United Kingdom and I always say the same food we have back home, right? Rice is rice, fish oil is fish oil, vegetables are the same, fruits are the same and it's always amazing whenever someone answers back and they're like, oh, okay, I didn't know. It's the same food, guys. It's the same kind of food. So really, there's no need for you to be picking up food in your bags unless you have a different kind of diet. But I assure you, everything that you can think of, they do have it. If it's not in your regular stores, then there are African stores that cover those type of foods. The only thing though I would advise is for you guys to bring spices. The spices are definitely not the same because they don't add the same salt and same sugar like we do back home in South Africa. Alright guys, we are back home now. I just unpacked the groceries. I won't do a detailed, a detailed video on how much everything costs. I'll give you a, a round up because I do have a video that's detailed, I will share it up here, that's detailed, that shows how much grocery cost, and it's almost the same things that we've got now, um, because this is just a weekly top up, right, so let me take you through everything, so it's just water, ice cream, sweets, tortilla chips, that's some ice cream with the kids, oh, this is for the adults, kids set is this one, and then for veggies, carrots, baby spinach, chili, some basil, red cabbage, um, spring onion, and some mushrooms. And then vegetables, your banana, strawberries, cherries, plums, what's that? Blackberries, some grapes there, pear, some leeches, more grapes and cookies this one i bought flour because i want to bake some scones i need to start baking for my family you know but i'm more opted for these so after these ones finish i'll make some scones yogurt hot chocolate rooibos tea some more yogurts chickpeas i want to have some nice green salad oh, these chickpeas i must actually check what can I do with these chickpeas? Because I didn't buy greens today. I bought these to dip into the tortillas. Um, yogurt. Those are some back beans. I know there's four. Oh, one is there. Then this is the flour that I've got. Um, tomato paste. Lasagna. So I just want to have a variety in terms of what we have as a family each and every week i'm thinking i'm going to plan my meals from now on 
weekly weekly meals and these are asian um noodles so i hope they're nice and then i bought some chips fish um chicken breast i want to make this now some ribs and this this i want to try out when i'm home probably tomorrow just gonna try it out and some liniments yeah so those are the groceries that we got today so just gonna unpack and then prepare the family meal and yeah guys this is just what i do during the week so today i want to make um spaghetti and creamy chicken so i'll be making the spaghetti with my chicken paste I guess we're having spaghetti. Yep. Spaghetti. Yep. I don't know if I'm the only one, right? I have this toxic thing that whenever I make um, spaghetti, I'll feel like it's too small. And then when I top it up, I top it up too much that it ends up being more. And then the, um, the mince or uh, the chicken that you're having with will end up being small. So every time some of the spaghetti, I might have to make a plan how we finish it off, right? So even today, I feel like the spaghetti is too small, especially if I also want to have lunch tomorrow. So I'll try and put one hand. One hand bowl. Because I really want to know <clears throat> how much do I need to use. Because I think with this, I'll probably have to use it three times. So if I get the correct measurements, I know I'm going to follow that from now on. Thank you for spending your day with me guys until our next video please don't forget to like subscribe comment down below what did you love about our video what are some of the things that i should continue to doing since we'll be vlogging more often now and yeah we're just gonna see our meal and then afterwards um this is our meal it's ready and our lunch boxes are also ready I can finally sit down. So K2 is sleeping. 
K2 is sleeping, it is on the couch. One, two, one. Uh, K1. Where's your drink? Can you drink your water? Flavored. Two flavored water. Well, three flavors. Mm -hmm. Orange, apple, and black carrot. Mm. Mm -hmm. I realize. Mm -hmm. Okay. How's the food? Food. Mm. And I'm already almost full. That's good. So with this dish, I believe each and every ingredient plays its role. Flavor? Yeah, when it comes to the flavor. Mm. I can taste the creaminess. Basil, not so much today. But I didn't put enough. What I'm loving is the dried tomatoes. It's so difficult to get dry tomatoes here. Even this one, I got it from Lidl, Even though the middle shelf, and I struggle to get it anywhere else. Mm. Mm. So next time I'm not sure we get enough. Because I'm really enjoying this. Mm. Yeah, guys, please. Don't forget to subscribe.